Hello, hello, hello. It's time for more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Last time, we saw the end of Iori Fuyusaka's story. Ending with her summoning Sentinel 11. Or. No, not Sentinel number 11. That's a lie. Not Sentinel 11. See Sentinel 15, right? Yes, Sentinel 15. And with her summoning Sentinel 15, as we saw at the start of the game, and the very first battle against the Deimos. We also managed to achieve two S ranks in our first area battles. And today, we plan on taking out that final A rank, making it so that our first area has only S rank battles. I plan to continue the stories ever further, as per usual, and maybe see one or two more endings to our various protagonist stories. And of course, at the very end, we'll do one more battle and we'll go into Wave 3 of Area 2. Without further ado, let's hop into it. There we go. Destruction time. Here we go. That's Dava City Battle Wave 8. Our final A rank in Area 1. Let's get it done. Word of Ground Worker Kaiju will appear. Which means we need AoE. I don't think the Gen 4s will do much. I just don't think the multi-lock missiles are going to deal enough damage with, against everyone. Actually, speaking of which, we have someone who we need to go and upgrade the multi-lock missiles for, right? Yes, yes we do. Everybody needed the multi-lock missiles to be upgraded. Now, as for Gen 2s, I don't think you have much going for you, except for the multi-rocket launchers, which are going to be incredible at going and dealing with some AoE, which is kind of just what we need. The arm-mounted machine cannons might not be bad either. I think I'll go ahead, and since I have 55,000 meta chips, I'll go ahead and I think I'll upgrade the multi-rocket launchers at the very least to level 4. Or excuse me, not multi-lock missiles, the multi-rocket launchers. I don't know if I said that or multi-lock missiles. I know I just said multi somewhere. Multi-rocket distance launchers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Farther range and hits more. 
or excuse me, hits for more damage. I think you're one of the few... Yeah, you're one of the ones with a repair emitter instead of a shield emitter. So I'm going to go ahead and replace your shield emitter with the multi-rocket distance launchers. And then we'll also upgrade yours, which I'm assuming will go cyber attack missiles. Fires Mitchell that the Kaiju in target area and hijacks their AI. Interesting. Okay, let's replace your Guardian. Effect for 20 seconds. This seems very interesting. Unfortunately, you are not in this battle as you are currently experiencing brain overload. Um, I'm not going to go through, and since I have enough, I think I'm just going to go with the heavy knuckles and the arm mounts and machine cannons. I think I'm just going to get them all to level 4. You have arm mounted piercing cannons. Where are those? Oh, I see. They're there. Not as hard hitting, doesn't shoot anywhere near as many shots, has a longer wait time. What is armor piercing? Hmm. I guess we can get rid of a sentry gun. I don't know, I'm not sure how much I exactly like that. I guess we'll deal with it. We'll test it out. Um, I believe I have enough, so I'll just upgrade the heavy knuckles while I'm here. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so now that we got you all leveled up, obviously you're going to be nice. I think... You want to be with Natsuno, so I'm going to keep you out of this. I mean, I guess you really don't. You have the forced cooling device. We should really upgrade everybody's rush attack, shouldn't we? So it takes 5,000 for each. I think we're good to go and get all the Gen 1's rush attack up to level 4. Oh, it increases the number of hits and the setup movement. That's quite nice. Yep, we'll be perfect. Hurricane Rush. A high-speed, double-fisted barrage attacks surrounding Kaiju multiple times. Ooh. I think that may be better than a leap attack, based on just the way it sounds. Oh, that hits in the air. It's in the air and the ground. That's kind of nice. That's, that's actually really nice. <laughs> but if extra after this, I'll probably go and do that. Your rush attack is getting to level 4. And your rush attack is going to level 4. So, you know, I can upgrade your lethal attack to level 4 and get whatever extra thing it is, but I don't think I'm going to have you use the leap attack. Just in all honesty, it's not as good of a thing as it may exactly appear, appear to be.
I don't, I don't exactly have enough. I'm gonna put the Gen 1s in because the workers, I believe, yeah, are ground. So it might just be good to have them there. Okay, I think this is a decent party. Let's go with this. Look! All the people vanished from the city. It looks like the battlefield is total. Oh, zoom around, we've already heard this before. Battle start. I'm gonna have them... Yeah, I need them all to move out just a bit. Go, like, here. Same thing with you. I'm gonna provide more support from here. Gen 1s need to be a bit further out than the Gen 2s, as they need to be up close and personal with a lot of them. You, as a Gen 3, can just use long-range missiles to go and get rid of, like, half of these guys. So where are we going to need it the most? I'm going to wait for these guys over here if I can, because I just want to get rid of the new ones that are going to spawn. This is a decent bunch. Energy pulse lasers. I think that'll do. Yeah, I'd say that worked pretty well. I think a sentry gun would be nice, just a little bit of extra firepower. Here we go. Now we got multi rocket launchers. MP surrounding. It's 400 of them. It's 400, excuse me, 400 power. I think that should be enough. Perfect. Oh, there's a couple right in the center that I didn't. Because of the small. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Okay, um, let's think about this. I can get you all in there. Right? Yeah. Multi-lock? Uh, I don't think multi-lock missiles are exactly worth it right now. Um, Kudabe can get rid of those. I want to try... Oh, that's a small circle in which I can move. Come on, there's got to be a way for me to get... There we go. Nice. And then just U4. I guess we'll go over here and we'll get rid of you. Can EMP stunner do it? Or why not? No. Long range missiles. <laughs> we can get all of them. Uh, not quite all of them, apparently. I'll do another high energy pulse laser. Step back just a little bit. And then we'll get all of them. Perfect. Um, we can do a hurricane rush here, I believe. Fun, however, not exactly as efficient as I thought it would be. All of you are just going to disappear real quick. 
That was satisfying. Uh, how soon are you all coming back? Not soon enough to warrant me taking the time to get rid of, like, two of them. I can't tell where they are. The sentry gun is a wee bit obnoxious, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's just go with this. Yeah, there was quite a few of them there. Okay, I think I made the right choice. Perfect, we'll get these two. MP surrounding. Right in here, and I think we get pretty much all of them. Not quite enough to get fully rid of them. This EMP surrounding should be able to get most, if not all of them. I can get most of them. A couple on the sides. Oh. Hello. Um, long range missiles. Oh. Is that all of them? I think that's pretty much all of them. I think this will do. Got rid of some, but not all of them. And this will get rid of the rest. Yep. That's a worry. We're actually doing pretty okay. Back there, I'm pretty sure Kurabe can get those. We got the multi-rocket launchers. Let's get rid of the start. I think it's just kind of scatter. No reason for me to go super far out of my way with EP just to get rid of a couple. I think we have a pretty decent wall up right now. You can handle that. Hmm, the question is, how am I going to handle this well? Come on, there's got to be a tiny little space where I can get both. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. No? Okay, fine. Whatever. Good. Nothing special. If I have to worry about the difference between getting one or two, then I'm probably doing okay. As much as I like everything in here, I need to specifically get rid of the high quad. And which way is the high quad facing? Facing that way. I don't think I can get a back attack. No, no, I cannot. Okay, in that case, let's just hit the high quad. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and use this right now. It's sort of a lot of the small fry. Um, you charge EP. How's the 
Um, I think you can also just kind of chill out for a second. Oh, I see. Um, all of you focus over here, please. Let's see. Excuse me. You all weren't supposed to do that. I think that gets everything. Uh, May battery heavy rail. Nope, long range missiles. Nothing else is spawning. Start moving. Number 11. Don't waste any chances. Unbelievable. They're acting like an amateur. Number 12, moving out. That's a problem. We will not lose. Um, I think multi-lock missiles might just be the best thing to do here. Don't know exactly how much we're going to be able to do in terms of damage. I don't know if you got enough movement to go and hit them. Okay, let's try the other side. Perfect. That'll do. Here goes. That work? How many left? Okay. It took a, Hichiyama specifically, Takatoshi, and uh, Judo Kodabe took a little more damage than I would have liked. But besides that, the city I think was at above 90% and the terminal was at about, I think 100. So I'm pretty sure that's an S rank. We don't need to. We've seen that all before. We made it. Ain't our first time doing this battle. Yeah, took a little more damage than I would have liked. That got kind of messy, but a win's a win. Dang, you guys destroyed. I can fight two with the Yorifu Saka. Hey, Sakagahara, I got CQC specialist. Nice. I was worried because technically the sentinel damage was over 10% and for a little while I was thinking that anything over 10% got you uh, an A rank. Oh, we did it. No. There we go. It's glorious. All S ranks on the first area of Stava. Alrighty. Now head into the analysis. Read up on a couple of things. Hmm. Now I gotta see the medical records of a bunch of guys. Kadabe was administered NMA8075 and B01. He received four doses of NMA8075, and the fifth dose was onwards was switched to B01. B01 was created by Tamal Kadabe. Yusaka was originally a resident of Sector 1, and the parents she knows are not her biological family. Morimura was transplanting her own memories into Fuyusaka, but due to 426 influence, Morimura's memories are perceived as a hazy dream. When the kaiju appear in 1985, Fuyusaka musters up her courage and activates Sentinel number 15. Sentinel Sekigahara passed on to her. Due to the memories of DD426, Sekigahara lost his memory. In his story, 
Okino comedically straps Hijiyama to a chair in an abandoned factory and analyzes Hijiyama's mind, however. In mind. Uh, how I, I... I just realized that I was combining two sentences and I, I stopped at a weird point. I thought it sounded weird and that would be why. Uh, however, Okino has already seen inside Hijiyama's brain previously when he was adjusting code. According to medical records in the nurse's office, Amiguchi was administered a nanomachine medication called NM-88076 once. Records also stated there is a 20% transplant rate. We do not know what this rate is. Technically. We can, we can guess, but we don't truly know. Shinobi discovers Ida's true feelings and motive when watching underground surveillance in the underground or watching surveillance footage in the underground facility in in 2105, realizing that Ida is attached to only Kizuraki, only Tomi Kizuraki and has no intention of saving Shinonomi and the others. Shinonomi finally loses her patience and ends up shooting and killing Ida. Gasa Okino had used DD-426 on itself in an attempt to detach the decode. And because of this, he was not affected by the Sentinel infection incident in 2064. Although he lost his memories from detaching the decode, no one could tell the difference between the original Okino and the current one because he preserved his memories in his nanomachines and endured the simulate ensured the simulated personality that makes up his identity would be affixed to his brain. Marty Murda, in order to become compatible, tried to overwrite her memories and personality into Fuyusaka, but gave up on it after hearing that a loop was no longer possible. Jintaro can now be revealed. Looks like Fluffy, but a different cat. I didn't miss any other red items, right? Yeah, I didn't. BJ is the Miura that escaped into a drone before Sentinel number 17 was shifted from the Kaiju in 2064. He's a friend of A. Sekigahara. Ida seeks to transplant the simulated personality of the revived Kisaragi android into the physical body. Oh, so it is confirmed that this is the same Tatsuya Ida that uh, Amaguchi's dreaming about. Just different in terms of dreams versus reality. He just seeks to translate the simulated personality of the revived Kisaragi android into the physical body of the current Kisaragi. He rejects the idea. He then realizes that he should have transplanted Kisaragi into the living body of the current Kisaragi to begin with instead of reviving her as an android first. For that reason, he aims to reset the world and begin anew. And... Right, just making sure I want to go in order... Android. Skeletal structure of a human, but made of reinforced titanium carbon nanotubes and masked with high quality silicone skin. Battery inside allows it to operate for 120 years before needing to be recharged. Spill bottle has the label Oral NM C0204 printed on it. Pills inhibit the, the effects of DD-426, slowing down the resultant memory loss. They are composed of the same chemicals as the pills A. Sekigahara received from the Tomi Kisaragi android in 2104, before he lost his memories. Due to the effects of DD-426, pilots who enter their sentinels may suffer brain damage, lose their memories, and in the worst case, become mindless vegetables. Even being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. We finally get to see the second generation Sentinels. Heck yeah. Second generation... Second generation Sentinels have diverse armaments for both close combat and long range attacks. They also have thick armor and can weigh up to 2200 tons. The three Sentinels of this generation are number 13, 14, and 15. The pilot of these respective Sentinels are Judo in number 13, Ryoko in number 14, and Iori in number 15. Number 15 was piloted by Ei Sekigahara in 2064, 
before being transferred over to Ryori afterward. The worker kaiju are officially known as small wreckers. They are eight meters tall and are the smallest of the kaiju, but still pose a great threat to humans as they are a whopping eight meters tall. They have a high output directional energy weapon. I don't think there's anything else of note. Nope. Okay. In we go. Back to Nenji Ogata. I think we restart the loop. I'm assuming. Yep. Point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? <sighs> okay. I had to review everything. We start with the key, and basically, I'll just be quiet and let him go over everything, quite honestly. That's just a decent course of action. So this key is a program that's calling the kaiju out. Except, I'm just gonna see it as a normal-ass key, I guess. That was weird. Why'd I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the ka- If he's right, I'm one of those people too. You gotta be kidding me. So all of this? It's all some big dream in my head? This Kisaragi, and that Fuyusaka, and Wajima, none of them are real? You're not the real Kisaragi. You're just some ghost of her in my brain. What are you talking about? Is your head okay? Did you eat something bad? Don't even talk to me. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. I didn't unmute. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, we we can only do one singular thing. So my question was, are you just gonna punch him? Not even like look. give him a chance to go and as real as he ever did. Oh. The hell are you muttering about? Hey. Hey, don't you try to run! Oh, there we go. Wait, what? He's had enough, okay? <laughs> Ain't that the saddest shit? Gotta have your girl rescue you. Move it. Listen up. No more warnings. If you ever talk shit on Kuri High again. You know what's gonna happen. Let's go. Wait, why Why did that result differently? He's been able to kick their butts every time. I remember now. This place. It's what I remember from that day. Are you okay? She was here too. We had a big fight. Ended up splitting off. Fighting wasn't going to prove anything. Those guys aren't worth your time, okay? Damn it. Already 520. Third train is already gone. They're going to show up any second now. <laughs> Wasted too much damn time. Things. 
So put me back. That's how this goes, right? You realize your life is at stake here. I suggest you take this seriously. Yeah, I know. It's a little difficult to when you're looping. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? So is the pathing different now? No, it's not. Okay. We don't need to talk to any of you then. Okay, no, isn't here anymore. Where'd Okino go? Okino? Who's that? <sighs> Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I get it. Usami-chan. Said he was gonna fix it. Iori, your place Guess isn't this, is this way, meant. right? Where are you going? <laughs> I've just got a thing over in Tsutsu. There's Judo again. He was there in one of our first <laughs> loops, but he wasn't there afterwards. Hi there, buddy. You. If I remember right, you don't take the train to school, do you? Guess I don't, but who cares? I can still take the train if I want. It's not a crime. Yeah, I don't think that's very Kudabe like of him. So, you got a key on you? What kind of key? The key to summon the kaiju. Summoning kaiju, huh? What? That weird? I don't really have time to indulge those childish fantasies. Now that's weird. Last I heard, you were way into that shit. <laughs> well, what a shame. Looks like my train's here. Which means this conversation is over. That sounds more like Kyuta Shiba than... I don't think so. Hey, than Kurabe. tracks better I've been getting sloppy never figured you'd come looking to take it back who the hell are you uh, he disappeared no no get back here easily not Suno? that's Minami behind you and look what she's got I don't know how I know but that's the key. Gotta be. Do you know anything about what kind of code this is? Do you even know what you've been looking for? There's no point in digging this up. You don't even know what this key is. <laughs> I know the key's a program that controls the kaiju. And now I know Natsuno Minami's got it. If you know that, then why are you on their side? You think you know what they're gonna do with it? They can't save anyone. Don't trust them. You know what they'll do to her. Do you have any idea what Natsuno Minami will go through? What, like I'm supposed to trust you instead? I don't even know who you are. I'm Juro Izumi. A version of Juro Kurabe from another world. What the hell? I've come to save you. That's why I'm here. To protect her control key. It doesn't matter if we run. That was weird. So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these... I finally found it. It's her. 
Minami's the one with the key. Fine. Trust me or don't. I don't care. Just forget about finding the key. I can't do that. That key's gonna destroy the world, right? If you let me handle this, you won't regret it. But if they found out that Natsuno Minami has the key, you think they'd be nice about getting it out of her? <sighs> Got a point. These sickos already kidnapped me and messed with my brain. Minami might end up the same way. They might break her. Leave her like Ryoko Shinonome. Or they might just kill her. She's a pawn in their game. Just another sacrifice. <sighs> Think this through. Interesting that Izumi is going and saying, oh, well, you want to protect her. They may even kill her, despite the fact that he killed her. He killed 11 of them. Hey. Alrighty, buddy. Let's see what your debate is. See how you reason your way through this. I know my choice. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. Slow down and think a little. What's wrong? What the hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key, but if I let Okino know be throwing her under the bus. <sighs> that Izumi guy, he said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? Gotta be kidding me. So all of this... It's not new. So the world's gonna... That's not new. So that guy Izumi, he's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true... That League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. I remember now. She said something about the Sentinels. Probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. So the one who has the key, they're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. Hmm. I want to ask you something. If you knew the oh, world would not. So. Okay. Guess Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and. Karabe. Hey. Huh? Oh, Ogata kun. 
That's weird. Seems like plain old Karabe again. Actually, this is pretty good timing. Someone was just looking for you. They asked me to give you this. Here you go. Who's this from? Izumi, I think he said. Do I get on the train? No, I don't. I just look at the message. Okay. Tsutsuji bound semi express. Departing at 512. Well, first car. Okay. Who go. is this guy? What's his angle? Let's see. The 512. That's the third train. The one Kizaragi gets on. And the first car. That one stops over at the end of the platform. Oh my guess we go. Maybe not that far. Tina no way? She don't know me. What's wrong? I didn't. I didn't cross a line. Tsutsuji bound set. Who is? Let's see. That's the third and the first. That one. Hey, could you not? Suits. That one stops around here. There we go. Do I just wait for a minute? Hey, could you not? Okay, Ryoko Shinonome gets there on the go. second train. Hey, Shinonome Senpai, <laughs> are you okay? I have to go. So this is the second train. For a second, I thought one of those appeared green. That's my bad. Okay, one more train. We'll let that go by. Oh. Where'd she go? Okay, first car, first car, first car. Why are you here? Hey. You even listen? Jeez. If I get on the train now, is it even gonna change anything? I mean, it might. Shinomi is. Not Shinomi. Megami. It's freaking. He's a what? He's a talking cat who's here to save the world. What the shit are you talking about? Look, do you see any kind of. I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says reinitialize. Okay, don't touch that. Probably dumps me back at the station. Something here about a restriction? Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. Hey, you 
You talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So, all that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Then, I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? Sentinel 10, baby. <sighs> Thing. <laughs> Is Kurabe fluffy? Did Kurabe go and transfer his consciousness onto a freaking cat? That's freaking interesting, though. That's really freaking interesting. Izumi is in Ninji's brains somehow. They're all connected, I guess. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, I may be running out of stories to do before we complete the next few battles. Cool. All right, Takamiya. Cool. Yuki. Alright, time to ask you about who in the world are you? You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes. But I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. Okay, what the old school building? Hmm. Okay, we'll head out into the hall first. This is an easy way to get yourself off the suspect list. Start being ready to accuse everybody else.
I know you're 426. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yeah. I think all oh, these are pretty much. Yeah. Okay, we won't get rid of her just yet. Or I guess technically him, because it's 426. Can't get rid of her now. We are locked in. Megan, me, please. There we go. Hey, you. Got a sec? You still about Minami san? I already told you everything I know about her. Judo, 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 judo. Yo, nope. Judo, 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 Fine, whatever. Sorry for bothering you. So go to the cafeteria. Nobody here. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah, I just want something to drink. Gotta keep my mouth occupied. You're in the same club. You want something? Nothing for me, thank you. Apple juice. Yuki-chan, Amiguchi, I'm telling you, Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again? I can't even drink my juice. How's that hay C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want, anyways? How about a date? And then this uh, would be where we... I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours? How about... until you go on a date with me? <sighs> I got my bike with me today. So I was thinking... A bike? Sounds wonderful! Mm. Who's this? Apparently... She's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy. But I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay... Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Uh... Well then, shall we? Yeah. Mm, bye. Turn to the hallway. It's, do we need to look inside of a classroom? What, what happens if I head back? Still the same thing. I just had a drink not too long ago.
Okay, then why did I go down here? What, what, what am I missing? What can I do? Still ask you again. No, nothing on the doors. Yep, yeah, nope, nothing on the doors. Am I missing something? Or can I just I need to take a I can't I'll have to go. Oh, okay, there we go. That was a weird that was that's weird why I did that. Okay. Get rid of Iba. Sorry. I just remembered or, I had some in quotes, Iba. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Ugh, it smells like mold in here. Yeah, probably. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me. To get to the organization behind the scenes. Don't know why that one was considered new. It's in here. The button. It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? Hmm, maybe there's a power switch somewhere. Nope, can't find one. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Well. Oops. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. I don't think I'm that bad. You. I was gonna say we're on good terms, right, buddy? <laughs> Can you tell me how to use the box? Can I loot him? Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Okay, we're good then. Hey, hands <laughs> off! Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Natsuno? Left behind where? In Sector 2? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? 
Does or sector mean, one. You know where Nachan is? I think sector two. Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently Sector three, my bad. Sector three? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Let's go. You bet your ass I am. There we go. I knew I knew we were on good terms with him. Not because we knew him or anything, but simply because we're more interested in Natsuno than anyone else. Very experienced time travel, Yuki. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? The hell? Don't move. Executing the shift. Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachan been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. <laughs> I hope she hasn't gone someplace dangerous. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels. We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five-kilometer range. She's been gone for several days. We have to prepare for the worst-case scenario. Shut your damn mouth. If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. Well, there's got to be plenty that we can. Yeah, yeah. Box an old school building. Okay, we can immediately just go there. Black suits named Sekigahara. They'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. The box. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. Okay, well, can I just... That guy I met, he's 
No. I think I need to have Iva here first. Okay, first, let's... I think Ruined Future and then Natsunomi Nami we need to check. Since they're labeled as new. Do much of anything. That guy. That guy met Why can I not? Inter I just. I just want to go to the building. Oh, Takamiya-san. Morimura. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything. Come and see me anytime, all right? Tamao-san, I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Uh-oh, secret's out. Tamao-san. Tamao, in quotes. Morimura gave this note to me. Wants me to do something, and the first step is talking to Iba. About her not being Iba? There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. Be your true identity. Class this morning. Went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Iba in the hospital. Ugh. The real Iba has been sick, confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Oh, but she's gonna say yes, because that's who she actually looks like. Oh, well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You really are good at this, Takamiya-san. You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Oh, Sekigahara. Oh, I know where this is going. Ew, hey. yep. Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <gasps> Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Four two six. He's a me. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but 
but I know he's plotting something. <sighs> I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? <laughs> so you're saying a robot destroyed the bathroom? Hmm. You think anyone will believe that? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but. They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. Mm. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me is you. Oh, Takamiya san, don't get so worked up. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh huh. Juro Izumi. Four two six. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> <laughs> You think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time, I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. This was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. Yeah, that's fair. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now. But the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit, Iba. Stay back. It's not dead yet. Yep, Fluffy's drill. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. 
Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Iba. Wait, didn't mean to do that. Ah, okay. Uh, well, if you finally learned of the fact that Judo uh, Izumi called that a game makes me think that he transferred his consciousness into Fluffy. Fluffy is Izumi. At least to some sort of extent. Oh boy. Now, Izumi's counterpart. You gotta say about all this. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Let me guess. You're meeting up at the same place again? Pretty much, yeah. See ya. Bye. So, Atari-san, do you have a minute? It's about Kisaragi-san. Usami-chan? Where does she always go? Why do you ask? Ogata-kun was looking for her. Oh, really? Maybe Nenji-kun likes her. So, do you know? She goes to Tokisaka Shrine. I think she's waiting for someone there. Tokisaka Shrine? Is that the one that's supposedly haunted? Huh. I've... been there before. Something happened there. I can't remember. Oh, wait! Please don't tell Nenji-kun. The person she's meeting is a boy, so... Oh, no... They say the shrine by our school is haunted by ghosts. Kisaragi-san's told me a bit about it. She seems interested in the shrine for some reason. Because she's shifting, time-traveling, using giant robot! Can I just leave? No? Did I go and tell him he's not real again? What? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. You know that before. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours? The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know. This one's three times older than you. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Yep. We need to go to the shrine. Hey, watch it. Oh, hey, Ninji. She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? I do, in fact. Hey, 
I think I do have an idea. I heard she went to Tokisaka Shrine. Huh? For real? The heck is she thinking? Wait. I'll come with you. There's something I want to check. Be my guest. This street. I've been here before. I think I saw something. The memories are starting to come back. But I can't remember any specifics. Hmm. Yo, Takatoshi. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. What? Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. What the hell are you doing here anyway? What does he want to fight? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? <laughs> so this Okino you're looking for. Is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. That's just the name I heard in my dream. But it's probably the same person. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh. You don't know either? Unfortunate. May I say something about this? No, I can't. Okay, I figured. It was right here. Something happened. But what was it? Oh yeah. I carried something over to the dumpster. The fact that you remember that specifically tells me that this is something more important than a simple candy wrapper or something. Which is worrying, since, you know, we found a dead android in the broom closet. Yeah, I know. Careful who you're saying that around, buddy. No. This is... Remember, Takatoshi, he doesn't know you're a time traveler yet. It's dark Be quiet. Now, buddy. <laughs> well, it's okay. This was worth the detour. I finally got my hands on that movie. Now I just need to get home and watch it. I'm sorry it had to come to this. I should never have let you out of the underground. Just as I thought, you've returned. If only I hadn't spared you. I won't let anyone interfere with my escape. You must think you're handling this situation. 
situation, Bella. But Nira is well aware. I doubt it. The reason he deleted your memories at school was to hide the lock from you. Quit stalling. <sighs> Morimura must have arranged this. Um... She's... not human. Is this a doll? That's odd. If that's the case, then who was talking to him? Juro Kurabe, don't move a muscle. Or would you like your skull to be crushed? This body will not last for much longer. And this is where Kutoshiba comes into play. of Kyoto Shiba. Who are you? Come on, man. Did you forget your best buddy? I'm afraid. That's not very nice. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. I remember now. You're Shiba-kun. Hey, um... Street? What if it causes a car accident? You'd be in deep shit, man. Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's just dump it in the trash. Uh, wait, something's just... Now oh, snap out of it. Come on, I'll help you get rid of the thing. Just pick it up already. Um... Okay. Wait, are we stuck? Oh no, we're stuck. <laughs> we have to go and progress. Okay, how, how far do we need to progress? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, wave 10. Uh, you can't do anything with the battle. Natsunami Nami. Can't do anything yet. Uh, wave five. There's no tsunami. Nami. Wave five. Wave ten. Wave ten. No tsunami. Nami. Wave ten. Wave ten. Okay, so it looks like we're going into the destruction phase a little bit early. <laughs> we need to go all the way to wave five. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Fijiyama on strike team. Perfect. They're without a sentinel being immobilized. Okay. Modified mobile factory RPF will appear. We need Ogata there as well. Understood. Let's go. Go with all of you, because all of you kind of work off around off and around each other. Wait, who who is it that works well with
No, you work well with Kisaragi. And you actually have... Yeah, you have cyber attack missiles and you have... Oh, you have piercing rocket launchers as well. Should probably upgrade these. Let's get them to level four. Anti ground salvo. Gen 4s can handle the shields, I think. There's a random barrage of rockets around the Sentinel and ignores armor. Sure. Do that instead of a sentry. Hmm. Okay, noted. Have to think about that in the future. Is there anything else that anyone else can unlock? Oh. I have not upgraded anybody's rapid cannons. Let's go and do that. Precision machine cannons. Instead of 143 by 16, it's now 80 by 35. Um, significantly lower wait time. Kaiju within a thin area in front of Sentinel. Machine guns ignores armor. Oh, ignores armor. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of the EMP stunner, though. I don't want to get rid of any of these. No, let's get rid of the long range missiles. Think we can do other things. Or no. No. We'll we'll go with this. better stuff for the EMP center and the anti-air bombardment. Interesting. I feel like I should really have the long-range missiles in there. Get rid of the multi launching wrapping cannons. We'll go with this for now. You want to upgrade your leg spike. I do remember that that was one of the next things that I wanted to go and work with. Go to be good. Yeah, I think Goto would be good. You also want to upgrade your leg spike. 
The Lex Vikings should be the next thing that we upgrade for uh, the fourth gens. Let's go for it. Today's gonna be a big battle day, I guess. Let's start pushing everybody out there. You need to start moving, my guy. lasers on the other hand we can use it did not defeat them oh boy this is gonna be this is gonna be wonderful that's a back attack oh even with that much it still wasn't enough I want you to move forward by like that much those two at the very least. Oh, I can move around with it, but that's not what I want. I want this. Oh, kinda. That's air and ground. Hijackster AI. What exactly does it mean by hijackster AI? Decision machine cannons. Okay. Okay, and I can move around with it as well. Can't exactly move very far. Holy, okay. Stay calm. Remember your training. Main battery mega rail gun. That did not do much. Get rid of him. Try again. Stay on guard. Or convergent lasers. That easy. That's my win. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Switching machine cannons. Don't want to keep moving. Please stop moving. Just want to hit them. That's all. Okay, that should be enough for someone to take care of real soon. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Five seconds, I'll do this. I'll see you in the back over there. Oh, here is a standard one. Okay, in that case, main battery heavy railgun right over there. Ready for 
You have rocket launchers. I don't like the fact that you're chilling in the air. Yeah, how about you don't? There's that. Is that it? Am I an enemy I won't back down enemy threat range? Main battery mega real gun. Did I get it? Enemy unit destroyed. No fight, I can't win. Um convergent lasers. Tells me I may want a shield matrix over here. Shield top. Thank you. What next? Um Nice and easy. A rush attack from the back. Not super high, but it's something, I guess. That did not pierce through, like I hoped it would. Come on. Perfect. Um, no. How about how about no? That was a pretty decent chunk of them. Maybe mega railgun, or maybe very heavy railgun, or anti-air bombardment. None of the above. Armored missiles, it is. No one said you were supposed to have those. Okay, buddy. Time for you to start moving a little bit. Okay, hold on. I gotta test something. Yep. Still does it. Oh, 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 there goes the first one. And then a Demolisher Blade, back attack, perfect. Next move. Mm, no, you don't. Ah, oh, so close. I'm actually going to wait on you. Move you here. Oh, that. Oh, right. Shield matrix. Well, goodbye. Go with a little anti air bombardment here. And then Natsuno with her good old main battery heavy railgun. Just gonna go and obliterate all these guys. I need to get rid of that. Should be good. 
I think we did quite well. I feel like that went pretty darn well. What's wrong, Okino? We made it through all that, but something's clearly bothering you. Well, it's like this. The RPF probably didn't show up before this loop. We've seen the Dymo system using not only civic development machines, but space exploration tech. So if the system's expanding its reference data based on its opponents, then based on current feedback, it's entirely possible. What is? Stop dancing around it. Well, I mentioned the Sentinels were like siblings to the Dimos, right? Wait, you're not saying... I'm saying I've got a bad feeling about this. We did it! Now that you mention it, that is a horrible feeling. Thanks for that. Zero damage received on the Sentinel side. Area secure. Heading to next terminal. Lone Wolf. Research notebook. For Takatoshi and Nasuno, respectively. Hey, we now actually know more about the multi-rocket launchers. And that's an S-rank, which is mighty nice, because we also got the bonus objectives. Which gets us canned cat food. And we will proceed to the next wave, as we need to go... to wave 5. We need to beat wave 5 if we want to continue the story. Gata on Shrike team. Understood. Let's go. Maintain terminal defense is 70% or higher. That's worrying! Many modified G Molar Kaiju will appear. Okay. That means we need AoE ground units. I think we can put you down. Isaragi, you... Yes, Ogata. Alright. Ogata. Uisaka, Yakushiji. Okay. Is Jiro going to leave it to me? I don't know. Is Jurabe going to join us? Wait time recovery speed increases when deployed in consecutive battles. Interesting. I mean, that actually may be good, because he has the multiple things. Yeah, we'll go for it. For a decent chunk of AoE. You don't have any MP surrounding, do you? Okay. Let's get your attractor leveled up. High performance charger. EP recovery time reduced and recover amount increased when defending. Oh, nice. Not bad. Optimized actuator. Movement before attacking with armament is multiplied by 1.3. Yes, please. At this point, I'm just going to go around and unlock a ton of stuff. 
If I can, that is. You have a ton that you can unlock, my friend. But unfortunately, we do not have the ability to actually unlock it. for now. Yeah, you got some stuff that we want to upgrade as well, but we can't... Okay, well, there's not going to be much that we can do because we have less than 5,000 and it takes approximately 5,000. It's 5,500. I'm thinking of the numbers right. 500, 1,000, 1,500, and then 2,500. I think those are the numbers. Which adds up to be 5,500. Okay, let's hope we can blast our way through this, huh? Are we in the center? We're in the center. Some G molar butt. I have to focus. Uh, that's probably too far. Let's go here. Probably gonna have to spread everybody out just a little bit. Okay. I'm probably okay just sitting right there for a moment. Would you be interested in... Not that. Uh, yeah, the piercing rocket launchers are only anti-ground. I'll just go with the multi. Oh my gosh, there we go. That should do. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Ready. 
Worked fairly well, but not perfectly. Yeah, we just need a long range missiles here. Okay. Stone Kodabe, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna need you to move like a couple inches forward. Oh my gosh, fine, just get rid of these ones at first. Hello there. Not quite enough for both of them. Can I? No. At least on a center gun, at least. Um, nope. Yep. At this point, it might just be more worth it to do this. There you go, that helped clear out a pretty decent chunk of them. Oh boy. Hmm. We right, hit him with this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Boom. Needed that. What about long range missiles instead? Got rid of a few of them at the very least. We'll go with high energy pulse lasers again. Go. Now we're doing pretty nice. The hurricane rush does not do too terribly much at first, so I'm gonna need to my way around here and do this. Closer there, good Abe. Number thirteen. No, point no, 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 no missiles for you. Do this, and we'll get rid of you too. Oh, good. At first, second, I was like, wait, was it not gonna work? And now I think we can do Hurricane Rush. Work to an extent. I get a pretty decent chunk of them. Hmm. I get both. I don't get a back attack. No, I just want you to go like here. Okay, I don't get. I can't. I can't get a back attack on both of them. Let's get one. Missiles, maybe? I don't really know. It's just the main battery heavy railgun somewhere? All these guys are armored. You really don't have much for armor, do you? Can you even hit them? No. I don't know. I guess try with the long range missiles over here. Yeah, no, I didn't do much.
There we go. Probably didn't need to use that one specifically. And Ooh, that took a chunk out of me. Why can't I hit you all? Odd. Oh, it's only letting me target one at a time, that's why. Okay. Got a decent chunk of them, kinda. Um, which way are you facing, my guy? Facing that way, okay. Use that. Ooh, Sekigahara is not having a good time over there. I need this. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is 18. This has this much. Okay. Looking for you. Oops. Um, let's go with the super long range missiles. Let's see if we can get rid of at least some of the small fry here. Oh, I'm way too far. Oh, please do not do that. I have no idea he should actually do that, but that's just, I guess, kind of what I'm going to choose. So, to an extent, at the very least. Um, piercing multi-lock missiles. I think that worked. No, 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 no. Over here. EMP surrounding. Do that. Yeah, do it like this. Kadabe should be good. Yep, okay. I don't think I can get all of them. No, I can't. Oh, no. Hurricane rush against you all. And then Kisaragi. Homing missile against you. Did it just miss or something? Or no, that one... Probably takes time, doesn't it? Okay, so that one was probably an A. Sekigahara took a lot of damage, and the city took 
Each sentinel automatically shields itself when it detects an allied mech from the EMP. The enemies need a moment to bring their systems back online. It's a temporary effect, but it can still buy us some time. Guess we pushed them back. I don't think we did terribly on that. I still think it's probably an A. Yeah, Z, look at that. Mm. We got through it. Good teamwork. Yeah, those anti-ground piercing missiles are really good. Come on, come on from Nenji and Kaiju Nerd from Judo. Used to loneliness for Megumi. Well, that's a little sad. No, we still got an S. Dang. Also, our win streak is now granting us 168,000 <laughs> extra points. Granting us a total of 300,000 points for this stage. That's quite nice. I get specifically Wadjima and the mystery files. Guys, we're gonna have so many mystery points. Yep, keep on moving. Good. Ex excuse me. Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju will appear. You're telling me we're going to fight a Sentinel? Oh, this is number five, it's the boss. Oh no. Okay, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, let's think about this. The gladiator is probably going to be someone who's up close in combat. They aren't gonna call it a gladiator if it sits from the back and uses a sniper. Which means that we're going to have to deal with it in one of two ways. Either one, take it out from afar, or two, get up close and personal with it and beat it at its own game. Playing the middle game is not going to work too well, as we aren't going to be able to deal enough damage fast enough to go and just annihilate him before he annihilates us. So Gen 2s are going to be out of the picture for this. It's going to be mostly Gen 3s and Gen 1s who are going to have to deal with this. We need Goto on the strike team. We can only take in four, so I gotta take. I gotta consider this all carefully. Let's try the long game. Let's try, the, let's try to be long and defensive. Long range and defensive. We have a lot of stuff that can allow us to do shield matrixes, overheat, stunning, long range, all that sort of stuff all combined. Let's go with this. I really freaking hope this works. We're in the corner. Dymo signatures. Look there. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Oh, that's not. No. Are those sentinels? Are they on our side? They're copying the Gen 1s. They look like first gen models, but they're giving off Dymo signatures. Most likely, they're the first generation units we lost in the battle at Sector 2. So they were seized and repurposed? Repurposed? Well, it may be more accurate to say they were reset. When we attempted to deploy automated sentinels, they behaved as if they were Dymos. 
During the battle at Sector 2, Units 1 to 11 were being remotely controlled by me. You piloted 11 units by yourself? At the same time? It wasn't efficient, and the D-forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. Juro, what do you mean by that? Look, they're coming. They seem like pretty heavy units. And they've even got the composite ceramic armor. So they're close quarters Daimos frontliners now. If we don't shut them down, the terminal won't last. An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks that inflict damage of 300 or lower. Whoever attacks that deal high damage with the holy in this battle you must destroy seven of them. Oh no. Victory condition destroy all seven gladiators, terminal destroyed or any pilot killed. Alrighty then. Give us your best battle theme game. Give us your battle theme to honor the gladiators. Always think ahead. You are considered heavily armored. Noted. Good thing I have something prepared for that. Gotta be it. No, okay. Field matrix. Thank you. Yeah, no. Oh, and they just go straight for it. Okay. Another shield matrix. Let's get everybody. Be wise to do the EMP stunner. I don't. I genuinely don't know. Let's do the EMP stunner. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we need the armor piercing, so. Zero damage. Uh, of course. Oh boy. Okay. Get him. Okay, that's enough for one. I'm gonna shield again. Yeah, that's not going to do enough. So I guess we just got to keep using the railguns. 
Didn't expect it to flatter right and nullify anything below. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need you to defend. Tell me it's just basically the same thing again. Uh, son of a... Okay. We can't afford to hold anything back. Nope. Don't try to take them down by yourself. Stay in close formation and rely on your allies. Here's the plan. Okay, you're just bigger. You're just bigger is all. That's it. Main battery. No. We want... Yes. And now we want the wide range railgun to go and get all of these guys. Oh, that was nowhere near enough. Yeah, I see you're all armored. Um, we'll go with this. I do this. Got a pretty decent chunk of them. Not all of them, though. Oh, you're kidding me. Looks like we have three more on the way. This is not gonna be good. Go through. No fight, I can't win. Shield. Of them off. Why? Oh, my gosh. Did we already use? Yep. How much do we have? How much do we have? Card's level eight, though. I'm definitely not going to be able to get it. doing up there I cannot see the missiles I can get the back attack Okay, I need to do this. 
Get rid of all the missiles. Shield Matrix, please. That only hit one of the missiles. Dang it. I'm gonna launch you here. That did not work exactly how I wanted it to. This kind of damage wasn't in my projections. Must have miscalculated. That missile's gonna hurt. I can always call it here. Thought I got you within the shield. Oh my gosh, they all have leap attacks. Not me, no. surrounded this, this kind of damage oh my like gosh why are, are you still like healing or something ready to give up then we can always call it here apologies professor but this game's not over yet what's our plan i need for you, all of you to stop One. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Throw the missile. I don't exactly think there's much I can do here. This is the person who's currently about to get completely and utterly obliterated. I'm not winning this battle. <laughs> okay, we'll admit that was pretty satisfying to see. Wait, what? You probably want to run. Now that next, now that. Thanks. Ah. Not <sighs> That was the wrong choice.
Hmm. Guess what else I can do? Quad leg spikes. Ho 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 Wait time of four seconds. So this is 1420 by two, and this is 900 by four. Just to say, I think these ones are a bit better. What does this do? This increases the lock-on range and decreases wait time. That might be good. Please tell me you get quad leg spikes as well. EMP spikes? Pierces Kaiju with the leg spike and unleashes an electrical surge that drops aerial kaiju. That only does a hundred? Is this better than a flare torpedo? I suppose the EMP spike could be used to go and take down lots of missiles if I just hit one enemy, though. Apparently all of the, uh, Generation 4 stuff is air and ground, so the leg spikes can be used air and ground as well. It's interesting. I think we'll just go ahead and upgrade everybody's... Lug spikes are quite powerful. They don't have lug spikes, do you? No, you do not. Okay. Increase power and eventually set up movement. EMP surrounding, I feel like, will be pretty essential. Okay, let's upgrade the EMP surrounding. Ninji, you don't have an EMP surrounding, I forgot. it again, I guess. Here goes nothing. So they're going to yeet themselves straight at the terminal. No questions asked. No priority against the sentinels. Straight towards the terminal. Yep. Here they come. Okay, I want you to use a shield matrix first. Don't waste any chances. Wait for them to get a bit closer. Okay, now. Oh, that's doing nothing. Go with this. Pay attention to that, please. Really? I can't. There we go. Oh my gosh, it does like nothing. 
Plus for 20 seconds, that's not gonna be enough. Is that not bringing into any third gents? Uh, you just witnessed me right as I just restarted after going and bringing a couple of third gens into the fight. <laughs> yeah. My brain said, oh, gladiators are close range, which means that we should probably have some longer range guys and take them down before they can get close. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I was very, very wrong. Oh, that's doing nothing. Noted. Okay. Let's go. Leg spikes. Oh, <laughs> you from your mistakes. Yeah. Oh, those hit so much harder now. Okay, maybe I should just... If I fail this one, I'm just going to bring in all Gen 4s. I just need all those Leg Spikes. Leg Spikes and Shield Matrixes. Matrices, excuse me. Hmm. MP surrounding, maybe? Just get rid of all these little guys? Stop the big guys from moving? Yep, that hurt. Um, let's... We don't need another Guardian, I don't think. They're gonna buy four. Maybe that'll do something, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it did something to one of them. Um, okay, I really don't know what you're gonna do now. Um, I guess have fun with the rush attack? That yeah, deals more damage. Oh, you took a lot more damage than I thought you did. Oh, come on. Don't stop. Cease. I really need to consciously think about what I'm doing. <laughs> there he goes. My brain just goes, oh, he's just armored. It's not just armor. I need to keep that in mind. It's not just armor. Yeah, only five, and they all come at once. Good Abe. At once. Okay. We can't afford to hold anything back. I believe they all get a cooldown reset, if I recall from the previous time I attempted this. Yes, they do. Okay, let's try and get rid of as much as we can here. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. That works, I'll take it. EMP surrounding, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Drum mine could be interesting. I get them close and then use Hijiyama. I simply need to be careful about it, though. Yeah, let's see if I can get rid of all these at the start. Okay, we'll wait a second with Hijiyama. Okay, that's a bit close. I'm going to need you to move. I'll just take care of this. I can't punch missiles. I probably should have guessed that. Why don't you go over here? Yep, there they come. Okay. Looks like we have three more on the way. Yep. Yeah. I'll make it work. Why did you disappear there? How did you disappear there? You were not there as of two seconds ago. Okay, let's punch you in this general direction. What? How's that? Threat 
I'm not quite sure what just happened there. Um... Okay, we're gonna go with this. Um, and now we're gonna do instant cooldown. Now we're gonna do the multi-rocket launchers here to get rid of this small swarm. Oh, we, yep. Okay. Now we're gonna hit as many of you as we can over in this direction. And now I think the EMP spikes could work here. Okay, and then now we should be able to do the Demolisher Blade here. Perfect. Oh, come on. I have this. I need this. I'm going to use the instant cooldown again. I'm going to use the multi-rocket launchers on this. It was not enough to get rid of all of them. Okay. Hurricane Rush be acceptable here? Can't sneak past any of you. Um... Okay. Let's... EMP all of them. There we go, that gets rid of all the small guys. Um, I'm going to need to move... Okay, you can't get a shield matrix, but that should be fine, I think. Let's get all of you. don't think you all shoot anti-air stuff. I don't think you shoot air missiles, but I'm going to do this on the off chance that you do. I can sneak around you, right? Yes, I can, but I also probably need to do this to help stop those missiles. Uh, of course, there's more. Can we try and at least get rid of one of them? Okay. The start. Mm-hmm. Another EMP should help. Oh, wait, nope. Draw mine. Works to an extent. Hmm, that's still gonna hurt. I have a guardian. We can pull them all over here. Buys me a little bit of time. These are all drum mines. So if I play my cards right them all into each other. Pijama will be ready soon. Cut such a wait just a moment. My turn now. Yeah. Let's, see. Let's do this. Please stand up. Uh, oh my gosh. Right here. Perfect. Back attack.
Attack, attack. Here goes. How was that? Now then. Um for any of that. I'm in range. Right, yep. 300 damage. Forgot for a minute. How's the sentinel? Gonna need those leg spikes. I need him to defend the next time his turn comes around. Um, which way are they all facing? I can't tell. Oh, oh you're telling me you can't... There we go. Let's go with you. Rush attacks. Um, yep, that'll work as a back attack. How's that? I, have to focus. I need you to wait. I'm going to need you to place down another guardian in a moment. Nah, gotta think. Don't let um, maybe? What now? My turn now. I thought they were going to go and break down the guardian. Go. Confirm termination of Gladiator Dymo signature. Just three more. Don't let your guard down. Thank you. Here's the plan. Okay, you need to defend. Let's see. Defensive mode active. That should get rid of you. gonna do the jump attack. That's fine. I don't know if the Hemi Knuckles will be enough. I don't know. Let's just do it. Nope, not quite. This will definitely do one heck of a lot of damage, though, if I can get this. Yep. Uh-oh, -uh, not quite. Okay. Saki Gahara. Time for you to finish this off, buddy. Ninety-nine percent city, one hundred percent terminal. I'm thinking we took probably about twenty percent sentinel damage, though. Goto took a heck of a beating, yeah. The same type as the number 12 I pilot. Edison was the one who put the first gens together. I just helped out. The auxiliary stuff was from my design, like the EMPs and the anti-air flares. But these things were never meant to have a direct pilot. The original spec had them all automated. Explains why the enemy got a hold of them. That also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. So, its true power is being restrained? What happened if that limiter came off? You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability, but it'll put an incredible strain on the pilot, too. Yep. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. Can remove the limiter, but it reduces your durability to one third. And I don't like that. <laughs> Yikes, that's a lot of damage. Sekigahara dealt the most and took the most.
But we did it. Oh, yeah, almost 30%. Oh, we still got an S. <laughs> Who cares about durability if everything's just gonna die anyway? Well, that's dark. Plus, you can just use force shield, force gens to shield them. I, yeah, that's true, actually. I didn't think about that. Dang, I can't believe we actually got an S on that. Maybe it's more forgetting, forgiving with the sentinel damage because I'm only, I only took in four. Regardless, of course I get an S on that, but I can't, but I get two A's on the first two battles of this area. <laughs> nice. Automated factory. We're up to 10 of these. See the next wave? Let's see, what's the time? Is there a why not? We'll do one more. Modified drum mines. Ijiyama, Miura. Okay. It's an odd pairing, but I guess I can work with that. Not limited by anything else. Leave it to me. Here goes. Honey and like on Mia, because they all work good together. Um, drum mines, drum mines, drum mines. Fine. You want me to go? I think that's a good idea. I think. Because we're gonna want, we're gonna want guys who can hit them away. We're, we're, we're gonna want to start the explosion sort of thing, and then we're gonna just want to hit them like a baseball, just send them straight back at them, rebound, whatever you want to call it. Give them a taste of their own medicine. If it wants Miyurta, then we should probably put Minami and Takamiya on there, because Minami is greatly benefited by Miyurta. And then Takamiya is greatly benefited by Minami, so the three of them kind of work well. Work well together. I should finish my thought. Um, yeah, let's go with that. If not, well then I learn and I come back stronger. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. Threat identification signals. It makes them think it's a high priority target. They can draw attention away from us as a decoy unit. That can distract the enemy away from us and the terminals. The EMP equipment on the first gens can get us some breathing room too. Though it tends to draw their attention instead of diverting it. It can be a risky move. A true soldier faces his foes head on with pride. I couldn't ask a better chance at glory. Just don't die, Takatoshi. <laughs> and of course we're right in the center. It's gonna make things awkward. Thanks. Good. Jeez. Gotta do something. Stay come practice on point. No fight, I can't win. Armored drum mines. Of course they are. Okay. Do a shield matrix, and then let's do something real stupid with Ogato. Hey, look over here. 
<laughs> okay, and then now there's... Oh, come on. There we go. Anti-air bombardment? Sir, eh, eh. Is that going to get all of them? No, there's one, two, th there's three singular ones in the back. Fine, move that far forward. <laughs> Wide range railgun, heck yeah, that's what I want. Me likey. <laughs> Oh, the wide range, the ro the wow! I cannot speak. The wide range railgun is so nice. Um. Okay. How how am I gonna do this? That's who's giving your opponents the rectangle of dude. I know it's so good. I don't really think there's much of a reason for me to go and use these at the current moment. I guess. I guess just stay there. It's fine. Um, would it be better if you... Eh, do this. Not quite enough, but that's fine. Will this get rid of enough of them? I don't think it'll do enough damage, but... Oh, hey, look at that dead. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. Okay, um... Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to move you around and up here. You're still doing okay there. Love not to know, but she used to be the absolute worst third gen Sentinel user on the PS4 version. Really? Okay, let's hope this works. Those drum mine, that drum mine isn't ready yet, so it's not going to do much of anything. I do have the heavy knuckles. Can I wait just a half, like half a second? Let's try that. Okay, yep. So this works. Oh, it didn't quite work as well as I thought it did too. Okay. You all can do the same thing. Take it. You like that? What next? Um. I don't have access to that, do I? Hmm. Okay. How am I going to do this? I can do that. Or actually, instant cooldown. Do this again. I'll get rid of the small fry. Wait, are those those are G molars? All right. Okay. Sure. Um, all of you are just the drum mine, so there's no point in that. Um, okay. You're still going to stand there and just attract their attention. Um, let's... Kind of. Eh, why not? Let's do it. There's that. I'll wait on you. And you're just going to sit there for a second. Demolish your blade. Okay. 
Anti-air bombardment over here, I think, would be... Oh, you can't move that far. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay, that's fine. I'll do this a different way. All right. Or would it be better for me to... No, yeah. May, uh, long range missiles. You only had access to missile rain, which Tomi and Miyota also have. Huh. So I guess they gave her an upgrade here, huh? Um, no, nothing really I can do here. Um... I think you two will be able to handle this. So I'm going to have you okay, move over here, I think. Good. I think that would be good. Yes, I see you all here. Get rid of that missile. Oh, that's it. I think he'll come back in time. Yeah, he'll come back in time. Oh, please don't move. I don't want you to move. Oh, you're actually going to hit them. Perfectly. Okay. Let's see if we can't get rid of a couple of them, though. There we go. <laughs> uh, we probably want the demolisher blade, actually. I'd say that worked fairly well. Okay, you are not going to go down that far. You're going to go here instead. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, why? Why? Okay. okay. Um. Stop. <laughs> Quad leg spikes. I want a back attack. I think firing... Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think that'll knock him back too far, would it? Uh, let's try it. No, no, I really didn't. Yeah, we'll let him get close. Uh, let's get a main battery... Uh, maybe a main battery Mako railgun. Over on these guys. They need a little bit of help. Did I get it? It's not the most, but it's something oh, at the very I least. Um, not far enough. That's definitely also not far enough. Okay, fine. Anti-defensive... Uh, Anti-air defensive flares... The switch moveset upgrades seem minor, but they completely change how this game can be played optimally because of the sheer number of powerful, unique moves added in. I love it. Ah! So it's not just a direct port. That's interesting. It's good to hear that it's positive and not... not negative. Number 12, moving out. I know, it's a stupid idea to place, place them right there, but... Gotta try something. Is it... Okay. Bonk. Oh, there they go. <laughs> you all are still just kind of chilling there, huh? I guess those 10 seconds last a really long time when... Time does not move um, 
in real time. All right, I'll just tear through them. Yeah, sit there for a second. Um, you can bat this guy away. I think you'll have time, Hijiyama. Yep. Okay, here's what we need to do, though. We need to go around. Hit them in this direction. Gonna play some Yakuza 7? Have fun. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, this will hit them in the right direction. I think. Oh, the perfect chain reaction. Beautiful. You know what, let's just... Have some fun. Are they finally starting to move? There we go, they're starting to move. I may not have thought this through very well. Oh no! <laughs> there we go, get rid of the one guy. Where? Oh, come on. <laughs> get over here. Get over here. <laughs> I think that deserves an S. I don't think we took any damage. Interesting way to proc the defense systems. I didn't realize that's why. Oh no, Hijiyama took a little bit of damage. No. Oh well, that's fine. Yes. That's not a. I don't think that's the greatest skill to have. <laughs> Brawling Prodigy from Yuki. Makes sense. No, I was looking forward to all zeros, but yeah, we still got an S, so I'm okay with it. Hijama Miura and clear within 50 seconds. Mauzo Hagi. 
don't think we'll proceed to the next wave. I think at this point, wow, like seriously, we got all these as S rank, but we couldn't get these two. <laughs> uh, of course. Oh, well. We grow ever closer to the end. I think for now. I think we're going to call it here. Just switch over to the end. Man, I freaking love this game. <laughs> this game is so freaking good. So good. But I unfortunately cannot play it forever. It doesn't quite work like that. That was, was a ton of fun today. We didn't do as much story, unfortunately, because I didn't realize that I would just get locked out entirely. But we should have plenty for next time. I think there's two or three characters that needed the wave five. And then two or three characters that relied off of the characters that needed wave five. So we should have enough to continue as normal for next time. Um, hopefully we don't get locked out and need to go to wave 10 all, uh, already. <laughs> it's immediately after we just went through all that. That was a ton of fun anyway, though. It's funny how whenever I was just doing the two at a time, I was getting A's for a bunch of them. And then suddenly now that I went Okay, well, I guess we're doing... That was six of them today, right? Yeah, because there was a four in City 2, and then... No, there was five today. There was five of them today. Four in City 2, and then replacing the A in City 1. Or, excuse me, Area 2 and Area 1. So there was five battles today. A bit different from what we usually do. But, uh... It's kind of needed. <laughs> that was a ton of fun, though. Ton of fun. And battles are telling the story in their own way. It's I, after everyone else's story is completed, so it's interesting to see how we're all going to piece it all together. We saw the end of Yori's last time, so it's it means that we it just means that we have a lot more to look forward to for the other characters. But we should be on track for next time now. A battle to start story, and then a battle to end. And hopefully if the story lines up, that should time us perfectly with us getting wave 10 right as we would be about... right as we were... Uh, we would get locked out. So that should be all good. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed what you saw here today, feel free to leave a follow. It's a nice and easy way to say, hey, I like what you're doing. Keep up the good work. It's also a good way to get notifications. So if you're interested in seeing more of what I do, catching streams the instant they go live, feel free to follow me on Twitch or Twitter as I send out notifications right as the stream starts through both of those platforms. If you're new here and you don't know what I do, I tend to play a lot of RPG games like this, but there's the occasional random game on the side. For the most part, I really like using my brain, so most of the games that I play are going to be strategy with some way, shape, or form, whether it be real-time strategy like this game here, grid-based turn strategy with, with games like Fire Emblem or Triangle Strategy, or building powerful combos and various different roguelikes. Of course, there's more than just that, but that's going to be the bulk of my content. If you want to see some of this content from the past without having to use a time machine, you can head to my YouTube channel. That's where I upload all of my VODs. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. Regardless of how you choose to show your support, though, from lurking in the background, to watching VODs, to actively chatting while you're here, it means a lot to me, and I greatly appreciate it. 
and I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it happens to be, wherever you are. And I hope to see you all again later. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>